Last year, at the Rawhide Gathering at the NRS at Decatur, Texas, Pablo Lozano taught us or showed us how to tie a knot that he called the Fondon knot because that it is a knot that Senor Fondon tied all the time or they used, so they've named it after him. And this is a book that he, well, he had notes of, and after he passed away, his family or somebody put it to put this book together, but they did not have the Fondon knot in it. But after Pablo showed us, I was talking to en Enrique Campone, who did this nice book, and he has the knot and about the knot in his book. And I didn't have the time to read it then, but uh, I tied the knot, and uh, Billy Album helped me with the knot, and I tied several of them while I was down in Texas. And when I returned home, I was wanting to redo and add some drawings to my More Western Tack Tips book, so... I drew the drawings for a 15-part, 12-byte fondon knot tied from a 5-part, uh, 4-byte casa knot. And here's the casa knot. Here's the fondon double. And here is the second interweaver, the third strand. But what I want to do today is show how to work that up with an algorithm diagram. But I've got some samples of the Fondon knot. This one is tied from a 9-4, and it is the one that's in Enrique Capone's book. And it's done with three strands, three different colors there. This is the same knot, but I tied it with one strand, so one edge, the bites are a little funny. Then, this is a fondone knot that is tied from a seven-part four-byte casa knot tied in parachute cord. And this is the same knot tied with rawhide. And you'll see that it has an over two, under two on each edge. And then in the center, it's three, 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 and then a two, two on the opposite edge. This knot is tied from a six part, five byte casa knot. So as you can see in the center, it's got a three, three, three instead of having full sets of three, 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 three. But uh, let's show how to work that up with a, I lost my pen, uh, by doing an algorithm diagram and doing some math. First off, We've got a 15-part, 12-byte fondone knot tied from a 5-part, 4-byte casa knot. And where 15 and 12 have a common denominator of 3, it takes 3 strands to tie this knot. But we work this up the same way as we have shown with single-strand knots. And it takes 2 different formulas to work this out. The first one is parts divided by bytes equal N plus R, which is the remainder. The other one is the bytes minus the R value gives you V, which is our count value. 
So with this knot, we've got 15 parts divided by 12. 12 going to 15 one time, and we have a remainder of 3. Now we take the number of bytes, which is 12, and our R value is 3, so we subtract that and we come up with 9. That's our count value. Now we mark the number of dots of the number of bytes. So we've got 12 dots here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Over the first one, we put a 0 because it is our byte boundary. And then we count over the number of our count value. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we place a 1. Then we continue counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we would place a 2. Then continue counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we place a 3. Now we continue counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that brought us back to our 0. So the empty spaces we start to the left side of the numbers that we wrote down and we put an A on the left side. Then if there's any more dots that are open, which there are, we place a B. So we've got BA3, BA2, BA1, BA0. Okay, so that is our count value that we're going to put above our coding. With a Fondon knot, we have a coding of a 2, 2. So here's a over 2, under 2, and then in the center, there are threes. So we got an over 3, under 3, over 2, and then on this other end, we've got, we're back to our 2, so we got over 2 and an under 2. So that is our value, our coding, for a 15-part Fondon knot. And the number of coding marks is one less than the number of parts. So we got 15 parts, so we got 14 coatings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the one doing the traveling would make the 15th for the 15 parts. Okay. Above, going from left to right in an upwards direction, we write down this coding and the zero is on our byte boundary, so we don't need it. So we start with the B. We write down B, A, 3, B, A, 2, B, A, 1, B, A, and that completed that. So we repeat zero, B, A, until all of the coding marks have a uh, count value above them. Now, on the bottom is where we do our right to left in an upwards direction uh, passes. So, as before, our zero is our byte boundary. So we start with this next one. So it's a B, A, 3, B, A, 2, B, A, 1, B, A, 0, B, A. Now, this knot takes three different strands to tie it. So we mark down for the first strand, we're only using the numbers. So we mark in an upwards direction, that would be an under, so we put an under. That would be an over, so we put over. That's under, we put under. That's over, so we put an over. On our right to left ones, going in an upward direction, we write down our codings. That would be an under, that's an over, that's an under, and that's an over. So that 
is our first strands uh, over and unders. With the second strand, we use the A and the number. So this A would be an over, that would be an under, that's an over, that's an under, that's an under, oh, that's an over, that's an under, that's an under, that's an over, that's an over, and that's an under. Now, coming this direction, for our numbers and our letter for A, we'd have an over, an under, an over, over, under, oh, that's an A. Oh, here's our A. Under, under, here's our A. Over, over, and here's an A, and that's an under. For our third strand, we're going to use the A, B, and the number. So we have over, over, under, under, over, 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 under, 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 over, over, under, under. Going this way, our bottom line would be over, over, under, under, over, 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 under, 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 over, over, under, under. Now, as we tie the knot, whenever we use one of these numbers, we'll mark it to know that we've used it and we can follow our pattern. As with the first string, none of them are marked because we haven't tied anything on or not yet. With our second strand, all of the ones that are over or under the letter A is already tied. So we mark those is already being there so that we know that the ones with the mark above them or below them is already there. With the third strand, the A and the B are already tied and as we come to our count value numbers, we'll mark the ones that are laid down in the tying process. So, I have mark this out the first knot the first strand is going to be try to get this all in one frame is going to be a five part four byte casa knot and this is the count value that we'll look for on each of these different half cycles I've wrote it down so that we can see it. And the first half cycle, there is no negative one. So it is always a free run because there is not any strands laid down yet. Okay, so we've went from left to right as a free run. Now we're on half cycle two looking for a zero we look across here here's our zero so we mark that as being an over so we write that down now we're on half cycle three and we're looking for zero we look across here and it's right there so we mark this one so that's an over Half cycle four, looking for a one, it's right there, so we mark that, and we're going from right to left, so we're reading it from right to left, so that's under, over, under, over. Now, we're looking for a one at the top, it is right there, so we mark this one. We're going from left to right, so we read it left to right, under, over. On half cycle six, we're looking for a two. It's right there, so we mark it. So we've got 
over, under, over. On number seven, looking for two, it's right there. So we've got over, under, over. Half cycle eight, looking for a three. Come around, it's right there. So we mark that one. So we have under, over, under, over. That completes the tying of our five part four byte casa knot. Now we get our second strand to do the fondone double, which would be 10 parts and eight bytes with our second strand. So now we're using this second line. Okay, we're looking for negative one. There isn't one, but these are already laid down from this knot. So we've got over over, so that's over two, under, over, under. Now on our second line, we're looking for zero. It's right there. So we'll mark it. So we've got over, over, so that's over two, under, over two, we'll see over, over, over to under. Now up here, half cycle three, looking for zero. Right there, so we mark it. So we got over two, under, over two, under. Now we're down here on half cycle four, looking for one. Here's our one. We mark it, we got over two, under two, over two, and an under. Half cycle five, looking for a one. It's right there, so we mark that one. So we're gonna go over two, under two, over two, under. Half cycle six, we're looking for two. It's right there. So we mark this. So now we've got over, over, over. So that's over three, under two, over two, under. Now we're up here on seven, looking for two. It's right there. So we mark that one. Over, over, over. So that's over three, under two, over two, under. Now, on half cycle eight, looking for three, it's right there, so we mark that one. We're going in this direction, so we've got over, under, over two, under two, over two, and an under. Now, that completes our fondone double. Our knot is doubled all the way in the center, and we got an over one, under one on the outside edges. Okay, now to complete the 15 part 12 byte fondone knot with our third strand, we're looking for a negative one, there isn't a negative one. So we write down the strands that are already laid down from here. So we've got an over, over, so that's over two. An under. Let me write this a little better. Okay, under. Over, over, so over two. Under, under, so under two, over, under two. Now we're down here looking for zero. So I go across, there it is, so I mark it here. So we've got over two, under, over two, under two, over two, 
under two. Now on half cycle three, looking for zero. It's right there. I marked that. We've got over two, under, over two, under two, over two, under two. On half cycle four, looking for one. It's right there, so we mark it. We've got over two, under, over two, under three, over two, under two. Now we're on five, looking for one. It's right there, we mark it. And it's over two, under, over two, under three, over two, and under two. Okay, I'm trying to keep everything in line here. Okay, we're on six, looking for two. So there's our two, so I mark it. So we've got over two, under, over three, Let me see it. Let me do it like that, maybe. That was our over three. Under three. Over two. Under two. I'm running out of room. Oh, here. Let's just do this. Okay. We're on seven, which is be on the top, because the odd ones are on top and the even ones are on the bottom. So a seven, looking for two. There's our two, so I mark it. And so we have over two, under, over three, under three, over two, under two. Okay, eight, it's even, so it's on the bottom. We're looking for three, it's right there, so we mark that. So we've got over two, over two, under two, over three, under three, over two, and under two. That completes our knot. You hold this up so if somebody needs a screenshot. There's the five four. There is the double. And there is the completion of the knot. In case somebody needs the drawing, there's the 5-4. There's the double. And there is the third strand that completes the knot. I hope you will try tying this knot because these knots are a lot of fun and you can tie them in any casa knot because you're tying three casa knots of the same size together so it'll work in any size knot. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll try this knot.